Yes, it is Biomega Mech Dude here. And I am here once again with my first mock review. And my voice is really tired because I just woke up. <laughs> so then, this is Katea, one of uh, my friend's real life self mock. Because, well, to keep it short and simple, she asked me to. Well, she said it was okay if I made one after I asked her if she wanted one. Because she, you know, she's one of the friends that cares about Lego stuff, what I do. Anyways, on with the review. Hopefully you can hear me, guys. Because my voice is shit right now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Alright, start from the ground up, as most people do. Uh, the color balance on this thing is not the greatest, I must warn you. So then, first, the energy heals that she has. When she needs to run faster, she just turns this orange thing off and it gets sh shorter but faster. So she has better balance. She has okay balance for now, but you know. So that's all for that, and then I just put a Exoforce robot arm. I mean, hand under there, and this simple armor on the foot thing that people do on mock pages and elsewhere. Moving on, we have some silver Visorock feet, some Technic pieces that I got from Witch Doctor because I didn't have many from anywhere else. Got some claw pieces in there, They're black. Black quality is very bad as well as the orange, so I must warn you about that as well. I'll get a better camera soon. Done. Yeah, you're just gonna deal with it for now. Alright, Metro hand, uh, arms. There's the arms, um, orange gloves. They were gray originally, but I got more pieces so I could switch out these loose pieces on some leg joints on my second self mark. So it looks better, it matches the orange down there. Uh, these, these are her gun arms. Just take this piston off on both sides and turn them around and she has makeshift guns. Looks pretty cool. In action anyways. Yes, that other piece is green due to a reason you may e be easily able to guess. Broken pieces. Yes. I never break the pieces, but sometimes they break when you use them. You know how it is. You know, fellow Marcus. You know. I'll get orange waist there. Standard NSSD forever design except for the chest armor. This bikes here, I did that myself. I don't think I've seen anyone else do that. No, I haven't. I've seen some of the stuff here, but not the spikes to hold it in place. Our van does not hold anything together, it's just design. It just it makes the mock look better. And I just threw it on there randomly at first. And then I was like, you know, I'm gonna keep it because it works. I'm afraid to take it off because right there is about to break. So then. This is your face. It's not... Well, it's the same as Vyir, except for I painted it silver for a possible mask for my self mug, and it started coming off. And then I wasn't using the mask when it started coming off, really, so... I got some more Latorian heads, and I used this. So it works very nicely. I do like the Vyir style thing that NSSD came up with. Other people have used it too, but I don't know if they've done it beforehand. So I'm just going to give credit to him for that. That, no credit to anyone, that was me. I just took one of those squishy uh, double axle pieces that aren't flat, like the brick, the solid piece, but it's like two together and they're like rubber. It came with the NXT sets and I'm sure a bunch of other stuff. And I just attached the hair in there using one Technic piece. Brilliant. It works pretty well. Sometimes it'll fall out if you're not careful with poses and what you're doing with it, but other than that, it still looks nice. Collar for aesthetics. And the spike backpack thing. Yeah. Ribbons everywhere. A lot of my female mocks are going to have ribbons, guys. I'm sorry. So yeah, there's the back of the legs. Roxy legs. Urban Roxy legs from the Baraki series. And yeah, that's all of that. I'm trying to make this as short as possible, but it's not working out. Gotta keep it under 10 minutes, guys. Oh, my hands in the way. Oh, yes. One last credit to uh, Steve Ever for that. 
this mock vagina thing even though I just use it for design guys I'm not perverted in the, well not in the bionicle sense at least not that much we all have it up there it hides comes out when it wants to eventually anyways on to weapons so I can finish this up and upload my first video and my camera is dying fuck uh, first I'll start with the flame gauntlet arm thing here Completely custom in there. Pretty damn simple. It's a design of multiple mocks. Mostly, well, the interior mostly Tonyuka, except for that's not a Katoya um, neck in there. It's just random, uh, regular Technic piece with ball joints and axle. It works. Got an orange jewel there. I painted this maroon Baraki armor black I have another one that's for a different reason you'll see that later they're both black though well the other one's silvered up now because another gauntlet related to Assassin's Creed oh yes I did I went there so yeah it's the same exact height as this regular arm here to keep it you now going and then you can barely see that this is translucent orange so yeah I'm moving on uh, this is her, the last weapon she gets, besides the that right there, and that goes on this right arm here. And this is a jet arm blade because that's her factory jet tusk wing thing. I was like, you know what? It has jets in it. Stuck it on here. It's a jet arm blade. Fuck the world. It's awesome. So she can s go super fast when stabbing people and fly in the air. She has to be careful with this. It's, it's, Propulsion is in her arm, not her back or anywhere that it's more stable. So she has to be real careful with that, and I need to agree. Last two weapons. Not going to take these apart from each other. This is her corruption spear stuff. It shoots. Well, you'll find out in a stop motion or something, I guess. Keep secrets on my first vid. Oh uh ho. -huh. Two experience points. No, no, no. Not going to copy awesomeness. Uh, 257, I believe. No, I'm not gonna copy him. Anyways, and of course, it's just the standard dagger sword thing. It's a flame piece from the new Inferno XL. So, yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this vid. Hope to God I can freaking upload it now, or I might have to get a new memory card. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. Hope this works, guys. Alright, this was Katea, and this was Biomega Mech Dude, aka Biomech, that's what you can call me, Bio, or Biomech, and uh, I'll be seeing y'all on my next review. And I must warn you, I'm going to stay away from my main color scheme, which is dark, you know, blue, black, and silver kind of mocks. I'm just going to bring the bright colors out for now. Because this camera is not very good with the color balance. So, anyways, that is all, guys. This was Bio Mega Me yeah. This was Bio Mega Mech Dude once again, and this was Katea. My s the self mock of one of my best friends, Kiki, aka her real name, Jessica. That is all, guys. See you later.